Well, here we are at Robin Hood's Bower. Now, this is a bit of a job to find. Um, it's in the um, Southley stroke Eastley Woods, uh, which are close to Sutton Veeney. And it's on Ordnance Survey Map, so you can find it, but make sure you choose the right path. It's not actually very big. Uh, now, uh, the reason uh, I'm here is because this has been put forward as, as the site of Eiley, which was the last place Alfred and his troops camped uh, before they went on to the Battle of Ethendon, which we think was Eddington, uh, which is um, not far from here, uh, also in Wiltshire. Um, so, um, does this stand up? Um, well, it's not very big. I mean, if you had a lot of troops, um, uh, I, I think you would have struggled to fit them all, all into here. Uh, it is tantalisingly close to um, the place that I think was probably the meeting place called Eiley Oak, which is where there is a henge, and you'll see that um, either earlier or later on in this video. Um, and um, it must be, you know, no more than a few hundred metres from that. Uh, so that's a coincidence, but I think it's more likely to have been at the Henge than here. However, um, there is some evidence that this uh, was a meeting place of some sorts because we know it, uh, that, that, for example, non-conformists used to um, uh, uh, meet here. Um, so a very interesting place. You also, if you look around, you'll see that um, there are many monkey puzzle trees. Um, if we just scroll the camera up, we can see them, look around. Uh, and it was a mystery to me why these were here. Um, why would they be in this, this ancient enclosure? Um, ancient, uh, it could be Bronze Age, Iron Age um, enclosure. Um, so um, it turns out, well, the best I could do was to find out um, as far as possible that it was um, the Longleat estate that planted these. I can't be absolutely sure, but that's what I heard. Um, so uh, we'll do a little bit more footage in a minute to show you the banks of this place. So still in Robin Hood's Bower, I thought I'd just do a little um, uh, shot here because uh, it shows quite well um, the ditch that defines this um, ancient enclosure. So you can't really miss it when you come here. Uh, it runs circularly around, around the feature. And again, <laughs> many more mon monkey puzzle trees. Uh, it's lovely the way the light comes through them particularly this time of the year. So yeah. as you wander around um, at Robin Hood's Bower, uh, you'll find some um, enormous uh, severed stumps and it's, it's easy to think um, that um, this is the place called Eiley Oak, which was the ancient meeting place. Um, I've got no idea whether this was an oak, um, uh, but um, I doubt, I very much doubt, even if King Alfred's Eiley was Ivy Oak. Um, I don't think this tree would have even been alive in King Alfred's time. Um, so I think it's easy to be misled by huge trees that have been chopped down. So just a helpful tip. Uh, I write in my book about Eastley and Southley Woods um, near Sutton Veeney, also near Warminster. Um, and um, the, uh, it's quite easy to explore both of these from the sleigh by which is on Five Ash Lane, uh, which is one of the main roads which lead west out of Sutton Veeney. You can see it on maps. The uh, lay-by isn't there, but as you can see, there is one here. And um, from this point, there is a pathway that way, which goes into Southley Woods, and you can get to Robin Hood Bower that way, and you've got Eastley Woods that way. So um, just a little tip. So here we are at the junction of um, the tracks of Long Iver Farm, the road that goes from the Devils, um, which are that way, and uh, Sutton Veeney, which is that way. And behind me, behind this field, we can't actually go in, uh, there is a, a henge, and uh, henges are quite rare, and uh, I think it's um, significant that a henge is located in an area that has been thought of as perhaps where uh, Eiley was, which is where King Alfred stopped uh, at his, his final stop before uh, advancing towards the site of the Battle of uh, Ethandun, which uh, we think is um, at Eddington, which is near here, uh, also in Wiltshire, of course. Um, so um, the Henge is over there, and I think that's prob that could well have been the meeting place, I think. 
Um, we will also have a look, this is very close to Robin Hood's Bower, uh, which is um, basically a small enclosure in, in the woods which are immediately adjacent to here. So we'll have a little pan round. I wouldn't, you know, this is a very fast road, I'd be, uh, you know, there's nowhere to park here. I've been dropped off very kindly and, uh, to do a little video um, from the road. Um, so uh, there we are, I think it's um, uh, very interesting, probably uh, an under-recognised uh, under site. Right, here we are at the place that I, in the book, call uh, the junction near Lower uh, uh, Pertwood. And uh, in fact, we've got a little village, well, it's probably not even a village, called Lower Pertwood off in that direction. But it's not the village that brings us here. It's the fact that um, uh, seven uh, uh, tracks uh, meet here and um, in fact seven parishes meet here. I could only count six on old maps but other, I know one other person has uh, counted seven so I think even six is an impressive uh, number. Um, now the reason why that is significant is we are not far from um, where King Alfred might have come with his troops prior to the Battle of Eddington. Um, I think this isn't the most likely place where uh, uh, King Alfred would have come but the fact that there's six tracks here and uh, uh, seven tracks and uh, up to seven parishes meeting here, I think it is significant and we've got to think about it. Um, we've also got a Roman road, if uh, coming across this direction, you can't see it with the crops. I don't think you can see it anyway, even when the crops aren't there. Um, and it would have gone across in that direction as well. And that is the Roman road that goes off uh, in this direction to um, Old Sarum near Salisbury and in that direction it goes down to Kingston Deverell which we, we are going to be at in another video uh, and beyond that it goes to the uh, near the lead mines in Charterhouse uh, at Charterhouse in the Mendips. So it's a significant Roman road that passes through here as well and, and that Roman road formed two, two of the uh, uh, seven tracks. The others were ancient trackways of various um, unknown date. Um, and it's worth coming up here anyway because it's it is a lovely spot. Uh, there isn't particularly a car park, but you know you can park um, by the road or near the road in various places. Um, there is a lovely open place. We've got poppies out in the fields today. You can't see them quite here. There's hares, uh, and the hedgerows uh, seem to be ancient as well. And um, so it's it's well worth uh, 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 coming having a look and to give you some geographical location we're just south of the village of Sutton Veeney which itself is very close to uh, Warminster which is in in Wiltshire and that of course is in England um, so if you get the opportunity to come up here why not and have a look